Hey y'all, it's Andy, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your nails from looking like this, where they are overgrown, and one's broken, to this. A nice encapsulated glitter fade. So here are the current nails I have on. They are very overgrown, one is broken, and my other hand isn't looking any better, but this hand definitely needs some TLC. This is about two weeks of growth, and this nail broke last night, so... Let's just go ahead and get on to it. So first, I'm just gonna clean my nails with this brand new hand sanitizer I got that smells like vanilla, it smells like cupcakes. And the first thing we're gonna do is just take off the gel polish. Um, I know I basically did a right hand makeover a couple weeks ago in my last video, but this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a fill and repair with acrylic. Um, so we're just gonna take off the nail polish or the gel polish. It, you don't have to get all of it off, just get whatever you can off. And then for the broken nail, we're going to have to make a new nail. So we're going to take down uh, basically all of the acrylic. Um, not bear down to the natural nail, you don't have to soak anything off, just file it off if you can, um, very carefully. And for the other nails, since these are going from nail extensions with gel polish um, to an encapsulated nail, we're going to thin out the nails because we're going to be like encapsulating and putting glitter and we don't want it to be too bulky since the nails are short. Um, so we're just gonna really try and make it as thin as possible without it breaking. And then we're going to clean up under the nails. If you've ever used forms, you know that there's just always this little bulge under the nails. So we're just gonna clean that up because it helps with the shape and the structure of the nail. Then we're going to take an arbor band, and this is going to do a lot. We're going to take off any lifting, which these had barely any lifting, which was kind of crazy. Take off any gel polish you missed, and also rough up the natural nail surface. And then we're going to do cuticle prep. I have it on 8,000 RPMs. I'm going on the forward motion, doing the left, uh, reverse motion, doing the right. I know I basically said everything like this in my last video. Sorry about that, but... <laughs> And then I'm just going to take a ball bit and clean up all the dead skin on my cuticles. This is a great alternative if you don't like nipping, so. And here are the nails. Very nice. We're going to dust them off and then clean them off with some alcohol. This is very important because you don't want any germs or anything on there. You just want to take off all the dust and clean them. Then we're going to dehydrate and prep and that lighting is very bright. Um, and with a fill, you just want to dehydrate and prime um, right by the cuticle. And you'll be very careful with the primer because you don't want to get it up in your nail or touch your skin because it could lead to allergies. And this is not Nail Nails Acrylic in here. It's me a secret, but we're just going to take our favorite um, acrylic and monomer and take a medium-sized bead. It is, it is very important that you don't drain off too much of the monomer and you have a very moldable, very wet bead so it can go around the cuticle and the side walls of the nail. Here we're just kind of focusing on the middle and cuticle area of the nail, not really the tip because that's where we're gonna be putting the glitter and clear acrylic. Um, and we're just gonna do that to all the nails that need filling. We're not gonna worry about the one that needs repairing right at the moment. And then we're gonna take some glitter acrylic. This is just glitter with clear acrylic mixed together. And a lot of people say don't use craft glitter because it could get all messed up with the modimer, but that's exactly what I use is this cheap glitter and it worked just fine. So choose any glitter you have that you like and of course some clear acrylic to encapsulate with. So we're just gonna take a pretty small bead and focus most of it at the tip of the nail and then fading it up towards the cuticle. Again, making sure to work very thin because we don't want these nails to be two by fours. Then we're going to take a small bead of clear acrylic and encapsulate the glitter. This is because um, the glitter, whenever you're filing, can lose its color and become kind of weird. So you want to make sure it's protected. Then I'm going to fix my broken nail. Um, I'm just using a form for this because it's a lot faster. I'm just going to fit that to the nail. And then once we have it dehydrated and primed, we're going to go in with a medium acrylic bead with mostly the liquid drained off so that way it's a putty texture. And then we're just going to make the free edge of the nail. You can make it any shape, any length you want. I'm just going for um, short square. 
And then we're going to take a, another medium sized bead, making sure not drain off any liquid, and then going for the cuticle and the apex part of the nail. And then next, of course, the glitter. Basically the same thing on the other ones, we're just making a whole new nail and nail tip. Then we're going to encapsulate that. And once the acrylic is dry enough where it won't mush around everywhere, we can pinch it. This is optional, you can also use your fingers, but I just like doing this. And then we're going to file those to perfection like that. If you guys want to see my filing routine, let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to show you guys a hack for clear nails. How to make your clear nails look like glass. Just take some acetone and wipe off all the scratches. This will kind of melt the top surface layer and make them so clear. They already kind of look like they have top coat. So with the top coat, it's going to be so pretty. Um, speaking of top coat, let's go ahead and top coat these beauties. And once we have those cured, we're going to oil up our cuticles. And here are the finished nails. I am very shocked of how amazing these came out. This is the first time that I've done a design like this um, without like starting fresh on a set. I really hope that this helps some people with fills. And let's just take a moment to appreciate that they went from this overgrown, crusty, thick nails to this. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helped. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!